Hello and welcome. Today we're going to make a fold out solar system. It's kind of like a lap book. So we're going to use this book called Book of Astronomy in Space and it's really beautifully illustrated and we're going to use it for all of our content on the planets. We're also using this book which is a little bit older and we're using some watercolor paper which is 90 pound. It's nice and heavy and it will cut well in my silhouette cameo and it also will hold up really well to watercoloring. You'll also need some kind of watercolors. We're using Distress inks and we're also going to be using some Distress ink pads too. And they come in really beautiful colors. You also need some kind of jar for water and some paint brushes. So I'm going to show you the project that we already did and I'm going to be making some slight alterations for today's project. The sun is here in the center and that one is not to scale but all the other planets are to scale. And we started with um, Jupiter on the front cover and then we scaled down all the other um, planets accordingly. And I use this book in order to find the diameters of the planets. So I'm doing a little bit of math here. I'm doing proportions to figure out if I used uh, Jupiter's diameter to be 12 inches, then I could find the diameters of all the other planets. And so I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing a little bit of math, and then I get to Saturn and I realize that I've made a, a mistake. And in the project that I already did with my kids, I have Saturn at 5 inches, and it really should be 10 inches. So I'm going to correct that for today's project. So the first thing that we need to do is make the fold-out book. And I'm using really large sheets of watercolor paper. This is a lighter weight watercolor paper. And I am basically going to uh, trim this down to strips of paper that are 10 inches by 30 inches so that when we fold the two ends together, we're basically getting um, sheets that are 10 inches. And so I'm just using a little stylus to uh, make creases in the paper so that I can fold them. And then I will basically take two strips that are 10 inches by 30 inches and I will combine them. And that's what I'm doing right there. And I do use quite a bit of double stick tape to make sure that it adheres really well to um, the inside panel. And so that's all there is to it to making the fold out book. And it's actually pretty convenient that there are spots for the eight planets now that Pluto's been demoted. So I'm using my Silhouette Cameo to cut all of the circles and it's really easy to use this kind of program both to set the circles and to cut them because you can manipulate the sizes pretty easily. So here are some of the cuts um, that are already done and they peel off pretty well because I'm using that heavy watercolor paper. So now I'm going to start by um, getting some of the yellow uh, distress inks to color in the sun and I am using mustard seed and wild honey of the distress inks and I just put a few drops in a little container of water and so on the left side I have my four-year-old coloring in the sun and then on the right side I have my nine-year-old who is doing Saturn right now which I know that Saturn and the sun look like they're the same size and they are but that's just for the purposes of being able to put the sun in the center of this fold-out book because if we were doing it proportionately it would be I think like hundred and twenty inches and that's just too big. So the sun and Saturn are both done and now we're we're working on a couple other planets and I'm using um, bundled sage, crushed olive and peeled paint over there on the left side for Uranus and then uh, we clean up in between, um, in between projects because uh, we make quite a mess. Now I'm using some contact paper on my desk and that way I make sure to protect my desk and also it makes it easy to use the Distress ink pads because all I have to do is flip them over, um, squish them onto the contact paper a couple of times and then we add a little bit of water to that and then we have watercolors. So it's really easy in that respect. So you just need a non-porous surface if you want to do the same technique. And that way we also get a lot of colors without um, having to pull out a lot of jars of, of water. 
So for Earth and for Jupiter, we're going to use some watercolor pencils, and those ones are called Intense, I think, and they have beautiful, vibrant colors. And so for Earth, we are using um, those color pencils, and then we'll just add some water to that and color it in. So now we're going to work on Jupiter, and my son is using, I think they're called Derwent uh, color pencils, and he's going to start with the red spot on Jupiter and then he will just take a lot of those beautiful reds and oranges and yellows and browns and start making all the different um, bands of Jupiter. So I also have some distress inks on the side so as we use water to blend those color pencils we're also adding a little bit of color from the distress inks. So we're using spiced marmalade, fired brick, rusty hinge, Vintage Photo, Mustard Seed, and Wild Honey, and it just makes beautiful colors, and they blend really well. So there's the finished product so far. They look so beautiful, and now we need to uh, get some adhesive on the back of those uh, the words, and I'm going to use the Xyron uh, Create a Sticker machine, and you just feed the uh, well, whatever you want to put through it. So right now we're using the, the little words and some of the planets, but you could put anything through this as long as it's for this machine less than two and a half inches wide. And it's all manual, there's no batteries and doesn't need to be plugged in and you just uh, wind it through and then you have adhesive on the back. For this really large sun we used uh, Color Lab by Marion Smith and it gave a nice shimmer and that's one option for the uh, fold-out solar system is to have a super large sun in the middle and I'll show you um, how that looks in the end. So in order to have space for writing uh, about the planets for Jupiter and for Saturn especially we just used our stylus to make a crease in the planet and then we could fold it over, add some adhesive and then it flips up and you can write anything you need to about Saturn or about Jupiter. The other planets, um, there's enough room if we still put the planet um, on the page, uh, there's still enough room to write about them. And so we continue getting the rest of the planets in place, and we did the outer planets on the outside of the fold-out uh, paper and the inner planets on the inside. So here I am uh, coloring the back side of the super large sun, and uh, we we used uh, some shimmery um, watercolors for this one so it, it looks really nice and then we folded it up and stuck it down right in the center so there it is with the super large sun as um, in the center I, I think I prefer the smaller sun in the center and at the very end of this video you can see my 13 year olds um, fold out solar system and and all the writing that goes along with it and I, I prefer the smaller Sun actually even though it's not to scale and Saturn because I made the mistake is also not to scale for that project okay guys thanks for watching